Hey guys, it's Trout91 here, and today we're doing the MG4 in the Custom Class Guide. And the MG4 is a kind of a, a letdown of a gun. It's got a fast rate of fire with low recoil, but it's got terrible iron sights simply because the iron sights are actually misaligned where the tips on the iron sights are. They don't, the bullets do not actually fire from there. They come from underneath where the, uh, the little prongs or tips of the little whatever the fuck you want to call them. Uh, that's actually where the bullets come out from, which is why I deem them as terrible iron sights. But if it wasn't for this discrepancy, they it would be a very good gun. But it's got a large clip with very good damage, and the sidearm I suggest is the handguns because it takes a while to get your sidearm out if you do have to bring it out. Now, my favorite attachment is usually the red dot sight, just because of the bad iron sights, and I usually roll with the sleight of hand pro for the faster ADS and reload the stopping power, just because I'm comfortable with stopping power. It doesn't necessarily need it, and commando, just if I get in those close situations, it gives me a bit of security. Now, this gun, you want to consider the attachments. Uh, the science is another discrepancy that lets this gun down quite a bit. Uh, although it does suppress your gun and hide the muzzle flash, you still appear on the radar as a red dot when using it, so I don't suggest using it at all. Uh, my second class I would suggest is the blinged out hardline method. Uh, basically, very similar to the first one, but always suggesting the red dot sight simply because the iron sights are so terrible and the grip just lowers the recoil even more to the point where there isn't any, and hardline is great for hitting the lower kill streaks in my opinion. And the third alternative class is just one for rushing with. This gun this this gun this gun does do very well at rushing. Uh, it does very well in close quarter situations because of the high rate of fire and simply because it's a great gun to run around with. It's a lot more mobile than I'd say something like the RPD. So it's one definitely to try out. Uh, I hope to see you for the AUG Habar. I will see you later. Peace.